Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your mid-month, your February mid-month bonus love reading <laughs> for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. As I was preparing the deck and getting ready for your reading, the double card kept popping out. So we'll see if it comes back out. I um, reshuffled, cleared the deck once again. I do feel like for some of you, there could be some sort of codependency, um, codependency issues, whether this is something that you are dealing with outside of your relationship or this is affecting um, your love life, your relationship, whatever it may be. In any case, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate and I love each and every one of you so, so much. Your playlist is always linked up at the top. Your February monthly reading is there. March is coming up soon. Now, I've been thinking about it for quite some time, especially after being able to do everyone's February readings within a um, reasonable amount of time, making them shorter. If you guys would be interested in me bringing back the weeklies, let me know down below. I absolutely value your feedback. And so, yeah, I'm thinking if I start the weeklies, no more monthlies, and I can get started right away with the month of March. So, Thank you guys for your feedback. I appreciate you. If you're not already following me over on Instagram, I am at Virgo Angel Tarot. And let's get to your monthly, I'm sorry, your bonus love reading, your major arcana. Well, speaking of love, of course, is the lover's card. Beautiful energy, strong Gemini here. Uh, strong Gemini energy, whether you have that in your chart, dealing with the Gemini, Gemini season could be important. I feel like for some of you, Gemini season could be an anniversary uh, as well. Um, but the lover's card here is very much speaking of um, a true love. Uh, I'm, I'm hearing a very close, tight knit relationship feels very fluid, feels like you just get each other. So if you are single, like straight up single Pisces, um, you know, I feel like this is the type of love that you really are pulling towards you, you're calling it in uh, someone who really, you know, pulls on your heartstrings that really understands you understands the way you think the way you feel. Um, I feel like there is this need to build some sort of um, harmonious balance in your life because it feels as though if in recent times you've had some difficulty in relationships, it feels as though some of you may have dealt with liars, cheaters, stealers, you know, thief of time, energy, effort. Uh, you may have been duped by someone here, two, seven, three, seven. So seven, seven, seven could be significant for you. Um, seven of cups, seven of pentacles, and the seven of wands, okay? So if you've been questioning a relationship, a connection, I feel like um, spirit has maybe gently or not so gently for some of you pushed you out of a relationship a connection that was not in your best interest i feel like spirit definitely uh, unveiled some things that you were blinded by um, so at one point or another, you had to remove the rose-colored glasses. This is a connection, a relationship that you defended to the hilt, right? You're like, I will die on that sword. That person is not like that. And then boom. Unfortunately, you may have been investing or uh, protecting in the wrong person, time, energy, whatever it may be. Seven of Cups and Seven of Pentacles. It's like you feel like you've done so much work in a connection. You think you're building a life with someone here. And, you know, they show the inklings or I feel like you maybe even felt led on. Like everything that you've done for this person, it started to feel like it was much more serious. Like you were starting to, you know, see a life together. You were envisioning it. You can, you know, you've already started making moves towards bringing two people together, right? Whether it's making room for them at your house, moving in together, uh, making plans for the future, like planning, you know, future planning, like, and I don't just mean like five years from now, I mean, like taking trips together, going to shows, concerts, um, you know, exploring, traveling, weekend getaways. It was like things you already had in the back of your mind. And you just 
automatically within your nature, your loving heart was like, oh yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And I feel like some of those plans you may have kept and it's a bit melancholy that you just decided I'm going to do this on my own. So I feel like those experiences don't need to go, you know, to, to waste. You can very much create a life that you want here. But I feel like there is that pain and suffering over um, feeling like you were so close to a relationship or a connection or a marriage or a situation, a household that um, was finally feeling grounded and stable, right? So if in the past you had some emotional or um, familial, some financial you know, imbalances, instabilities, right? Divorce, separation, um, you know, difficult experiences in life, like um, taking care of other people that maybe weren't your children. Maybe this was, you know, taking care of an, of a, of an older parent or grandparent, feeling like there's health issues. Uh, it just feels like there are things here that for the most part, most people don't... Um, plan for right not plan on but plan for right uh that can affect your household your livelihood and so you know with your love with the lover's card here being the overall major arcana i would like to see where this is going to go so this is your overall general love energy but i'm going to pull for singles and couples as well um, what was with the Seven of Cups, this illusion, confusion, straight up disillusionment in love? Yeah. So maybe you feel, I mean, I love two aces here, but when I'm clarifying the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Cups comes out to clarify it, what was the illusion about? The illusion was that this person didn't love you as much as they said they did, or... You may have been the one going along in a connection in a relationship, but you just didn't feel like that for them. It just felt good. It felt comfortable. Somebody was paying attention. Somebody was taking care of you. Um, you know, apply it to your situation. Remember, this is a general reading, so it can go vice versa. The roles can be reversed. Um, I, I also feel that uh, I just heard for some of you, if you have like an adult child that's moving back in, uh, could be because of something like this that happened. Uh, that's not for everyone, but I just... Mm, I feel like you just saw someone pour so much into a commitment that just didn't work out. It fizzled out. So, you know, what's with the confusion, the disillusionment, um, illusion of love is what it feels like. And that's why you end up here with the three of swords. Tell me more about the three, three of swords. Well, too many cards, but I'm going to show them to you anyway. We'll see if they come back out. Four of Pentacles, the Sun card. These cards tend to stick, so sorry about that. Oh, look at that. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, the Moon, and the High Priestess. Listen, I absolutely love that the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and the Sun card came out, but all of these together are giving me secret family. They're giving me hiding a whole other family, relationship, children from a partner hiding a pregnancy, hiding additional income. There is something that tips you off, right? It feels like something that tips you off or like I said, the universe just said you're you're making these big decisions with those rose-colored glasses. We're going to make sure that you make an informed decision. And on that note, look at that Four of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, and Eight of Wands. Yeah, so as soon as you discovered what I was going to say the the hidden truth behind it all was when you decided to take action. I feel that there was a lot of pain, a lot of hurt, a lot of anger. Um, you may be working through it or you may already be through that point of pushing everything and everyone back and just moving on with your life, right? Ten of Wands, Eight of Cups, Nine of Wands. So yeah, I mean, this it was a very difficult decision to make. So let's move on to singles, straight up Pisces, singles, straight up singles, four of swords. Sorry, like I said, this deck tends to stick. It's not a new deck, but for whatever reason, these cards stick to each other and it can be hard to shuffle. 
Eight of Pentacles, the Star, and the Death card. Two more major arcanas here. My singles, the Star and the Death card. Uh, clearly, this is an opportunity for you to reinvent the wheel and reinvent yourself. I do feel like you've taken some time to do the healing work, maybe a little bit of reset, reboot, rejuvenation here. Uh, it feels like from here on out, you are only doing the work on yourself, on your household, your finances, your stability, especially if you have children. But I also feel that some of you have been doing the healing work, the inner work, trying to break through um, what you felt was the point in your life that really you were duped. I keep hearing it like you were duped. You were you were taken for a fool or at least you feel like you have because you really believed this person and what they were showing you. You really wanted to believe that side of them, right? And so, it, you know, that experience that you've had to go through um, in this connection has quite literally changed you. So this is a new version of you that will be emerging through that experience, through that heartache. Um, let's see what the romance angels comes through with. And right away, the unrequited love comes through. Remember what I said? There was that feeling of, you know, the illusion was love. The illusion was that they felt the same about you or that they felt deeply about you. And they may have said and done all the right things, but in their heart of hearts, I don't think that they truly felt that way. And that does not apply to everyone, but those that have already discovered this, that's who it applies to okay this isn't gonna like be a shocker for some of you this is people that have already experienced that so the unrequited love here there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going this usually happens when one person is much more interested in the other when they are willing to do it all have it all be it all for this person just to have them in their life and again the illusion of love, the illusion of I want the same things and I'm just going to go along with it until, you know, that part of um, this relationship more or less gets fulfilled. I feel it benefited you to a certain degree, a certain extent. And dare I say, I feel like a part of you were like, well, they wanted to be around me and I kind of like the benefit of it. I just, you know, listen, Pisces, I'm not calling you out. I'm not calling you like a user or anything like that. I feel like it just kind of felt like in that moment, it felt right. It didn't feel wrong. And now that somebody is hurt, vice versa, remember, apply it how it resonates. Now that everything has come out, it's a little different, you know what I mean? Um, let's see. Let me pull from the Infinity Oracle. I haven't really used this deck too much. I've been waiting for another reading, but we'll see. So I have the card of big success for my Pisces singles. Take a risk vivid dreams okay some of you may be getting those clear downloads especially with the star card there um and it may have started during aquarius season um you know happy birthday pisces i know we're going into pisces season uh so happy birthday whenever that may be for you if there is something that you want to take a risk on that you have been thinking of taking a risk on maybe asking someone out letting somebody know how you feel about them it does feel like you know it's going to be a successful outcome now the vivid dreams i do feel like your higher self your spirit guides guardian angels are definitely guiding you towards your next step or your next partner okay so if there is someone that you have felt was maybe unreachable to you and they're popping up in your dreams, I do feel like spirit is saying, hey, take a risk here. We brought you this vision, this idea for a reason. Okay, let's move on to Pisces couples. Pisces couples in a long-term committed relationship. Well, look at that. The Hierophant when the Empress. Beautiful. Two major arcanas here with the Two of Pentacles. One more. Knight of Wands. Okay. Why the Knight of Wands? So inconsistent. What gives the Hierophant to the Empress? Two major arcanas here. 
Hierophant clearly does speak of long-term committed relationship, partnership. This is traditions, doing things in a traditional way, right? Uh, so maybe dating, courting someone, um, you know, deciding to get engaged or get married before moving in together or... Maybe for some of you before you sleep together, I don't know. Um, no judgment, right? But I'm just saying it could be that way. also feel that for some of you, if you are thinking of um, being in um, deeper commitment with someone, like it's leading in that way, this is a sign. This is confirming that, yes, this person that you're dating, that you're seeing, if it feels like it's starting to go a more serious route, it's because it is. I feel like they envision a long-term commitment with you. They envision marriage. They envision children. They envision a life of building together. But there is someone here who is like, do they or don't they want commitment from me? These two cards say yes. They're major arcanas. Don't worry about this two of pentacles. <laughs> Stop trying to be like, do they or don't they? Okay. Um, I get this feeling that if someone is inconsistent with how they show up in your life, I always say believe that. Okay. However, the Hierophant and the Empress are major con is that's the strongest energy, the strongest vibration here. So if someone is being inconsistent, and you're not quite sure, like there's a lot of confusion here, it is time to have a serious conversation with this person. Like, why are they showing up inconsistently, yet they've got this going on? Now, I'm going to tell you, for some of you, this energy that's going on is because they got baby mama, baby daddy issues. They're, they're currently married, separating, going through a divorce. And so they may be envisioning a life with you, but they're still attached or entangled you know, energetically, karmically, legally, <laughs> legally bound to someone um, that they may need to sever ties with, okay? And so that's why for some of you, I do feel like you're contemplating, Do should I even continue with this connection, right? Queen of Cups, that is you, my friend. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I do read the Queen of Cups as my Pisces queen. So I do feel like at this point, you're just like, I know what I want. Oh, yeah, you're definitely speaking your truth, Pisces. Listen, I do feel like you may be setting an ultimatum. You may be, you know, setting those boundaries, speaking your truth, letting it be known. I feel like it's going to be much more clear cut and uh, a bit blunt very matter of fact, over an emotional conversation. I feel like it's just going to come out like, listen, this is what I want, but I'm not seeing it from you. You say you want it too, but that's not how I'm feeling. Okay, so uh, what's the block? What gives? What are you afraid of? Why am I not seeing more, more of you? Why is it inconsistent when, you know, if you really are serious about me like you say you are, you know, I feel like that type of dialogue coming through when I see the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Cups because she comes through a little bit more matter of fact as opposed to deeply emo in her emotions uh, fearful of getting hurt is how I'm seeing it, okay? Now, the way, you know, a queen of swords would come through is pretty much how I'm feeling it. Uh, a lot of emotions, really, a lot of emotions are what are fueling that conversation. But I feel... Like if you're hiding or, or holding on to those emotions, you're not allowing um, a softer side of you to come through. And I'm, I'm not trying to criti criticize you at all whatsoever. But just be careful if you know that being harsh with your words won't be receptive by that person. If what they are more open to seeing or hearing from you, right? Of course, you may be just like frustrated as fuck and you're just like, no, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. And I don't blame you, Pisces. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, there it is. <laughs> I mean, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, Pisces. You got marriage on your mind. This situation involves marriage. But look at this picture. She's like, you want to marry me, right? We're getting married, right? You're good with this, right? And look at his face. He's like, oh shit, am I doing the right thing? Getting cold feet. Am I being cornered, forced into this? You don't want that energy. 
That's why I say, make sure you have that type of conversation with each other, okay? I'm gonna close this out with the messages, oops, with the messages of love, Oracle. And so these messages can, you know, uh, apply to what I've already read, or they can be individual messages. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. And let's see. Okay, healing. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. We did talk about that, okay? Denial. Detach with love and clear, to clearly see the truth. Especially if you are in denial about this unrequited love or that... It was nothing but fake love, you know? Regret. Someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. I mean, clearly, if they led you on. Children. Children are important to this partnership. Protected. You are safe and divinely guided. Leap of faith. Who did I just do that had this one as well? I think Sagittarius. So if you're dealing with the Sagittarius... You both may be taking that leap of faith towards each other. It's safe to make the move you're considering, especially if it's marriage. <laughs> Warning, don't dismiss the red flags here. Unrequited love, ace of cups with the seven of cups, seven of wands, you know, seven of pentacles, putting in a lot of energy, two of pentacles, nine of wands, inconsistent and juggling, yeah. If any of those messages apply to you, take it as it resonates. Leave the rest behind. Uh, as always, I thank you guys so, so much for all the love and support. Your playlist will be up here, your monthly here. And to book a personal reading, the link is in the description box down below. Um, I currently do not have any openings for the month of February as I was completely booked. And so I will be opening up March appointments at the end of this month okay so stay tuned for that if you're not following me over on instagram i am at virgo angel tarot where i will be posting additional content as well as letting you guys know what's going on behind the scenes how my schedule looks like and um, when i open up appointments if i'm going to be anywhere doing readings in person and i will see you guys soon take care bye